Aloha everybody. Today we'll be studying from the Journal of Accountancy from the article Forecasting with Excel. The original author was James A. Weasel and it was written in February 09. Today Sulkum, Risky and myself Liam will be introducing this topic to you. The purpose of this exercise is to show how to run a regress regression analysis and is also to show how we can predict the number of products that will be produced in relation to machine hours. Uh, to do this we're going to also learn how to run the forecasting function. Hi, Aloha, this is Sokom Heng. Uh, I'm going to show you how to create graph based on this historical data that we have. Um, simply for the Excel, we just select both of these row because we want them to show on the graph but for for your information or uh, uh, the, the data on the left hand side it consider as an um, independent variable and uh, the data on the right side will show the dependent variable which is depend on this data to project this and just click insert uh, insert to uh, bring up your graph and we just select like this one because we want a regression and we're going to run that and um, if you like to switch, actually, if you like to switch, um, let's say this is you want this to be your independent variable and you want that to be dependent variable, then you could just right click on that and select data and you can switch row or switch column. Or you can just click on here, you do some edit and then it will work. You can switch the way you want. So I like this way. Then I'm gonna run the regression regression line. Actually, just right click on one of the dot over here, and then you go to add trend line. So add trend line. We we'll like to keep linear. The scene is already selected linear, but we want to make sure this box, will, these two boxes, will be selected because we want the formula or equation display on the, on chart. So select all of them. Only one all square as well to while uh, you on the chart actually all square will tell you how confident it is that our uh, machine hour related to product made so actually the range of all square should be between negative one and one so it's getting close to negative one or close to one that's a strong um, significant confidence that there's a relationship between these two. Um, so that's my part. I'm going to turn time to um, uh, Risky to show you how to run the forecast. Okay, uh, now I'm going to show you how to uh, do the forecast forecasting uh, function to, to do uh, prediction about uh, the products made according to the data that we have so to do that you just click equal forecast just double click there and then you see the x is the independent variable which is the machine hour and then comma the non y is, is the, the history of the products made and then the non x is the machine hour the history that we have and then yeah that's the data and then just press enter so you can see there is this uh, negative 9629.1 which is the same with the y intersect right here uh, because the the variable that we have now it's still zero so it it turns out to negative 9629 and to test it we're gonna put some number here a thousand we'll see what happens yeah, the numbers change now to 31 to 90.84. Uh, now I'm gonna try to test it with the formula, the y-intersect that we have here, which is 40.92 times the machine hour we have, and then negative 9629. So the result is thirty uh, thirty one two nine one, which is the same with this one. Just you round it up. So 
yeah, that's the formula that we learned uh, from this presentation about forecasting. And yeah, now I'm gonna turn over time to back to Liam. Okay, Bron. So to wrap it up, we can see how this function could be quite useful in your future career. Um, I'm sure that you were, we're all going to have chances to gather historic data and uh, plot a regression analysis. You may have done this before, a regression analysis maybe in your 221 class, but especially this function here, the forecast function, could be very helpful. And in fact, we don't even need to make this graph in order to run that. And you'll be able to forecast many things. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And... Uh, Good luck on the test. See ya.